Choose one reason that helps you decide which kind of fruit you would like to eat. Easy to peel or no need to spit seeds out. Choose based on my taste. Choose low sugar fruit based... Based on the healthy lifestyle. Based. Only choose delicate fruits that can be put into plates to take beautiful photos. What the fuck is the point? Persimmon permission? Um... Easy to peel or no need to spit. Choose... I just... I choose based on my taste. What manner will you take when you go outdoors when it's raining but it's neither just drizzle nor a downpour? Take an umbrella casually, go out in a hat without any umbrella, put on my beautiful rain boots or take my favorite umbrella. Wait, what is this? Please ex please explain? Please explain? No! This that's fake. That's a fake that's a fake screenshot. That's a that was someone pretending to be me? Uh... To slander me? Wait... Listen... There's a difference... Hey, hey... There's a difference... Between top and bottom... And dom and sub... There's a big difference! There's... There's a difference... Dom and sub is specifically a BDSM thing... I'm right... Dom and sub is for BDSM... You, it's possible to be a top and a sub. You guys, you guys... You need to educate yourselves more, seriously. Haha, ha, lol, l mail. Um, okay, let's see. I went, I went out in the rain just the other day to go to the store because I needed to get uh, more stuff to mix my drink with. And I just like, I put a hat on. What will you choose if you have to wear any kind of accessories to match your daily dress? Um... Any accessory? I usually don't... <laughs> I'm too lazy to put on accessories usually. Um... A watch or a bracelet? Which of the following kinds of voice will you get attracted by more easily? Gentle and soft, dreamlike and elegant, magnetic and sonorous. Mmm. I'm. Elegant voices attract me. Do you like to eat mustard? Very much. What does that have to do with whether you're a top or a bottom? I guess magnetic and sonorous means like. like a booming. stud voice? <laughs> Yeah, do, do tops like mustard or do they not like mustard? Like, if you're... If you're the top person in a sexual encounter... And you... You like mustard, do you have to like... Be like, oh shit, I guess I have to be on the bottom. Uh, the link is... Arealme.com slash... Are you a top or bottom? Just Google it. I'm sorry, that was rude. I, I hope you find the quiz. I hope you're successful in finding the quiz. Data harvest cover. <laughs> this is a quiz but put together by Big Mustard. It tricks everyone into thinking like, oh, they they think that they're looking up uh, what kind of kind of sexual person they are, but actually, it's it's harvesting data from all the for all the mustard companies. Comfortable and casual. Easy for daily commute. A strong fashion aura that only... That ordinary people find hard to manage. Cutting... <laughs> I would have to say comfortable and casual. Which of the following lyrics best fits to your mindset? What are these lyrics... F <laughs> what are these lyrics even from? Let me just read these to myself. Envy your love. Oh, the sun is setting! How pretty. Um... It said that too ideal a love is always impossible to touch while I still attempt to seize it wherever I go. Ah... Uh, love is just like the continuous raindrops. The more I think, the messier it will be. I am the wind bell hanging at the corner of the roof and you are the wind to whip me up. 
<laughs> when you watch romantic dramas, which kind of course would you prefer for the hero and heroine? They fall in love with each other, steadily growing old together. The hero kisses the heroine against the wall and declares ownership for her domineeringly. The heroine falls in love with the hero secretly, fantasizing about the scenario of staying with him. The hero is a love rat, on and off again with the heroine, and they don't come, they don't come together until the end. What? What the fuck is a love rat? A love rat. It's the love rat. It's the love rat. Yeah, the last one is like... The last one has lots of tension. Like, it's like, will they or won't they? The first one, it speaks to, like, my heart. But the last one is like, exciting. But it's kind of frustrating. Uh, I don't know. I, steadily. Only based on your preference, what kind of animal will you choose as a pet with no consideration for whether its care is complicated or not? Only based on preference, not about like how hard it would be to take care of them. Turtle, goldfish, dog, cat, rabbit, hamster, chinchilla, spider, monkey. See, this quiz was gonna sabotage me! Mm, I don't want to be boring. I... Just based on preference? Honestly... Cat... Which kind of books do you read most frequently? Economics and management, science and technology, history, literature, social sciences, fiction, bestsellers, reference books, life arts? Ah... Uh, this isn't really like top versus bottom. This feels like this quiz is like masculine versus feminine. Um... <sighs> Except for clothes, shoes, luggage, and bags, would you pay special attention to the brand when you choose articles for daily use? No! I guess... Oh, except for clothes. Mmm... It depends on what I'm getting. Cause like certain stuff, like the brand does kind of matter, but for most stuff, not. Um... Slightly luxurious. What do you want to have if you can choose one more sibling with no consideration of conditions in your real life? Uh, one more? I don't want another sibling. <laughs> I, I, I have enough. Um, uh, big sis. What? <laughs> Man, I have to look this up. Puckish man. A playful, a mischievous, naughty, impish, elfin, roguish, playful, sly, prankish. That describes me. I guess I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> 